Okay, today I have joined the floor gang showcasing, which means I'm showing my case. And this is the Pelican 1650, the biggest one available with the track pack dividers. I've been also debating the smaller ones like 16, 15 and also before I bought it I just measured out the dimensions of the case on the floor and I put all my gear on the floor to see if the, this case is too big or too small so I got an idea what I can put here or what wouldn't fit and actually this one seemed the best for for my setups and that's why I got this one instead of the smaller ones. I think that the choice was right to get the biggest one because to be honest, I haven't got all my gear inside. So some of the stuff is still left outside. So I guess I would get another one. So why I got this big one. So this is with the track pack installed. It is 71 centimeters long. It is 43 centimeters wide and 19 centimeters deep. You can also install something here in the cover and there are special dividers or you can just install the Velcros and there are also Amazon basic bags with Velcros on the back so you can just Velcro them up there. But at the moment I'm with the original track pack foam so my track pack is configured, although this part is already thawed out, but the rest is just messy because I haven't figured it out yet. <clears throat> and it also depends which, uh, which setup I'm bringing. But the main reason why I got the big one is to be able to put 70 to 200 standing. Because if I put it like that, then it takes a lot of space and there is some space above and you have to put some foam and it, it would be quite annoying. But you can do it with this, with this cluster foam, which I also got. Uh, it is not uh, any means Pelican product or related with Pelican, it's just a cluster foam you can buy uh, mostly for the tools. If you want to get rid of the mess with your tools, you get this cluster foam into the drawers and you can have a nicely sorted tools. But it is also good for the photo gear, but you need to cut the shape of the thing. So if I would cut this, then I have to put another layer of the foam on top of it and cut it again. So it is really annoying. It's better to cut. So it's better to cut vertically and at the end probably I would cut it, but I already tried, I failed miserably. That was my first try and then, yes, it looks like shit. Uh, so at least I learned you cannot cut circles without the cutting compass. So yes, this is wasted, but I got some practice with it. Anyway, so going back to the reasons, it is Canon 70 to 200 F4, so I can put it standing here and also I think the I think the most important reason been to put pocket 6k with the handle so I can just so I can just grab it and start shooting of course I have to put the battery here but it's like 3 seconds action but if I have to screw back the handle then it would be really annoying to do so at the moment I got my pocket 6k rigged with the follow focus the drive and the handle and I can put it here and when I'm driving I can just stop, open the case, got the uh, 6K and I can start recording. Although I do not have monitor attached, but, but actually you can attach the monitor here and do it like that. And it will still close because the foam would compress, although it creates some stress on the mount here. So I would not recommend this, but it is, it is possible. And also, when you're not driving recklessly, then you can just put it like that or even latch this latch only. And you can like travel some short distance with such config. 
the smaller cases wouldn't fit the either Canon lens or the Pocket 6K with the handle. So that's why I have chosen the biggest one. And I'm really happy about that choice because, as you can see, I can also put the monitor in that configuration with two batteries attached, standing like that, so it takes less space. So actually, it seems like this case is designed for my gear because I can also put here Sigma 150 to 600, my biggest lens, with the original bag. And there is still room for some accessories. I can put mics here, my filters and stuff like that. So seems it's designed for the for my photo gear collection and photo and video gear collection. And this slot can actually fit my tripod when it is collapsed. So it's really nice so I can get everything here, even with my tripod. And actually, when I do not need this lens, I can take it out and I can put my other tripod, the hi-hat, in the back here and it is the same. It seems it fits like a glove, so I'm really happy about that. So actually these compartments are planned, so here is Blackmagic 6K, here is the A6600 body only with the uh, cup. Here is the 7 inch monitor, here is the Atomos with the drive uh, attached. I'm recording on this at the moment also A6600. And now this area is not planned because actually I configured the lenses and tried to cut out this, uh, this, foam, but this foam, but I failed. But I would do it eventually. But I guess I would figure out which lenses I like to take and which configuration to, to do. But it seems I can fit all of my lenses, maybe except the, maybe except the Micro Four Thirds. But also what is nice, my whole Micro Four Thirds gear can fit in this bag. And actually, I can also put it here. <laughs> so it's like triple purpose compartment and and before I also put it here because it depends which configuration of the lens I need I can have less uh, EF lenses and take whole micro four thirds gear so there are plenty of configuration but it looks shitty and messy so probably it would be fixed sometime I think I got um, some of the track pack left but it's not enough for uh, to to fix this compartment. So I would rather try this with the foam than with the with the track pack. But the track pack installation has been very easy. Maybe a few times I cut it too long, never cut it too short. So it's quite easy to do. Although maybe you can see it, there are some gaps. So it's not like a perfect fit, but it's a good fit and. Sometimes when you travel a lot, the compartments can move a bit, but you just press it and, and, and it's all fine. So actually that idea of the track pack is a really good idea. I know it's, this track pack is very, very expensive and there are ways to do it yourself. But I checked and it's like you save maybe 100 bucks, maybe a bit less. But you have to spend a whole day of gluing this and cutting it. So I don't have that luxury to spend a whole day on it. So I had to buy it. And actually, I got another idea to get to build a charging station. So I would just put this power bar here, down there, and connect all my charges, which I got at least uh, five. So A6600 charger, uh, Canon, LP batteries charger, uh, Sony NPF batteries charger. I actually got two of them, and I also got, and I also got this six-port USB charger. So I would I would be set up for charging everything I got with the six uh, power outlets. But it turned out there is not enough room in this case to do it. Maybe maybe when I remove the tripod, I would try to configure that 
in this compartment. But at the moment, it is what it is. So usually here is a tripod and on top of the tripod, there is a layer of this foam. And then on top of it, there are accessories put randomly. So messy stuff like my speed light, all the cables, some leashes, batteries. So I was in the rush when this was packed. So actually I just threw it inside. So this compartment I thought out, this is for the, for the tripod and on top of it, there is a, some mess. So I got at least few configurations for this case. So if I'm going to shoot basketball games, I'm taking Blackmagic 6K, uh, A6600, Atomos and a monitor. So this is mostly all the time in the case, but then I take less lenses. I take only two 12s and actually the 12 could be attached here. So this compartment can fit Blackmagic 6K with the Sigma 18 to 35 connected. So this is the biggest lens I can fit there with the, uh, I can fit there attached. So the only con of this compartment is that I cannot put this lens there with the pocket 6K, but I rarely shoot it on 6K, so it's not a big deal. But other than that, I can put the whole rig here, even with the monitor uh, and start shooting. Anyway, then I also take my main tripod and uh, small tripod because I use the small one for the A6600 when I record the games and some lenses, some other gear, cables, batteries, stuff like that. Actually, in most cases, I put more of the more of this cluster foam here to just fill empty space. But then when I'm going, for example, on a filming trip, then I get Pocket 6K, all my lenses for Pocket 6K. Sometimes I got, and most of the times I got also A6600 with almost all the lenses. And then it depends if I'm going to shoot some wildlife or not. I take the Sigma here or the small tripod, or I can put Micro Four Thirds scouting gear here in the in the pocket design uh, bag. So actually, I'm really happy about this. I already traveled more than thousand kilometers with it in the trunk. It was all the time in the trunk, and also. And nothing happened to the gear. I've been riding off road. I've been riding some. I've been riding some potholes, and all the gear is all fine. So it works. Are there any cons? I I'd say I found one con, maybe two, but so it seems that there is some play in the cover. So. Sometimes when you close it and you try to latch it, it does not latch. So you have to align this and then latch it. And I'm not so sure it is 100% waterproof. There is a O-ring and seems that this part goes into the O-ring. So maybe it is waterproof. I haven't checked it. I got some doubts. I got some doubts, but... And what is the price of the whole setup? So. I paid for the case itself around 350 bucks. The track pack was 190 bucks and seven pieces of the cluster foam has been for 130 bucks. So, so the whole thing is 680 bucks, quite expensive, although it protects the gear which is much more expensive than, than the, the case. So I, I'd say it's worth buying. And compared with the, what I previously got, which was this shitty backpack with these um, Velcro dividers. And always it ends up like this, the messy shit, because you remove the dividers and then they don't fit or you put just one divider to put something here and it's total crap. So the upgrade is amazing. And I guess I would get another case to create this charging station because, because I, I guess I would put more gear here and 
create some dividers or spaces from the foam here. Especially when I got the video tripod, then I wouldn't take my photo tripod here. I'd see, I will see, but anyway, it seems really nice. And the second con maybe is that when you open this, this tends to fall off, but I would just glue it with double side tape and it would be fixed. I haven't done it yet because I think I would got some either compartments here from the cluster foam or this velcro with uh, some small bags for all the cables and batteries. We'll see. But at the moment, I'm really happy with the configuration, so, so this works really fine. Actually, why the camera is here? Maybe better place would be here, because then if I put a monitor, it would be less force towards the monitor and the camera when I just put like that or latch the only one only one latch but generally the camera is on the left side of the case because there are wheels here when you travel with the case you raise it like that or even like that so the camera is still in the lowest point so even if you drop it the camera won't suffer maybe the lenses would suffer a bit but i think it's the best place the left side of the back for the camera or the most expensive gear to put in because this is the the lowest chance to destroy it although if someone throws the case when you travel by plane then it doesn't matter probably but when you just travel using the wheels and the handle then it might save you when you drop the case so that's why it's there so i say i fully recommend this if you got quite expensive gear, then it's a no-brainer to get a case like this. I know that there are other brands like Nanook, which got better latches and they, they seem to be more robust, but they do not have a track pack and they do not have that big of a case. So I consider Nanook, but they were too small and they haven't got a track pack. So, so the choice was obvious. But I say the track pack is better choice than a, than a foam you cut out because when you cut out the fold it's one time thing and when you change your config then you kind of screwed. But with the track pack I can also reconfigure this just by removing the divider and that would work for some other gear. So I say the pelly with track pack is the best way to go but of course if you do not change your gear frequently then you can get the version with the foam with the cutout foam or you can get empty case and buy this cluster foam this comes also with bigger sizes which are bigger than the case but i knew i wouldn't use the whole case for the cluster foam so i opted for smaller ones which are cheaper so i guess it was a really good buy at least for me and I can truly recommend this one. So I've been thinking of if I can put this in the trunk of my 16 years old Renault Megane and still open the lid. And I measured it before I bought it. And yes, I can do this in the trunk. Maybe it does not open to the end, but it opens like that. And I can grab all the gear from the case. And I have also used this in the bigger car, the SUV, so in the SUV trunk, I can open this uh, without any problems to the full extent of the lid and grab my gear. So actually it works really nice. And lately I've been able to fit this case, three bikes and a scooter in the trunk plus, uh, plus a suitcase and a lot of other uh, stuff. So actually three bikes traveled on top of the on top of a case and nothing happened so i guess it proves it's somewhat robust anyway i guess that's it cheers mate